we are putting in, which we promise, a penalty of 10 years imprisonment for the Minister of Finance if he does not, three months after any receipt from the oil company, make it public through the official gazette and notify the parliament. So every Ghanese at the end of the year can take all the official gazettes and add them and they will see how much money we've, we've collected from the oil and gas companies. That was Dr. Bar Jagbu, the Vice President of Guyana. At the annual awards ceremony and gala dinner of the Georgetown Chamber of Commerce and Industry, GCCI, held at the Pegasus Hotel in Georgetown, Dr. Jagdio announced that the government was sticking to its commitment of introducing imprisonment for the non-disclosure of revenues coming from the oil and gas industry and reducing the interference between politicians and companies. Dr. Jaglio pointed out that the imprisonment penalty measure is to ensure that there is no secret pocketing of oil revenues, alluding to a signing bonus received by the former APNU AFC government from ExxonMobil in 2016 that was not revealed. Beyond this amendment, other amendments include revamping the Natural Resources Fund Oversight Committee, which comprises 22 organizations, and establishing a board of directors that separates the subject minister and the management of the fund. A simpler mathematical formula than the complex formula used currently for the NRF is also being proposed to determine how the money accumulated will be saved and spent. Ghana currently has about US $554 million, which is approximately $112 billion Ghana dollars in the Natural Resources Fund, kept in the New York Federal Reserve Bank. With the sale of this final oil for the year, the fund could increase to over US $600 million. But since taking office last year, the PPPC government has refused to tap into that oil fund until the necessary amendments could be made to the existing NRF Act. Dr. Jagdio said this will change now. We did not want to touch any of the money until we have changed the legislation to ensure that from day one that you can, you can have greater transparency surrounding the use of the resources. The highly anticipated law will help ensure that there is transparency and accountability in the management of the nascent oil and gas industry and will be presented to the National Assembly next week. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Fishani Ragabir.